viewers. A royal analyst has informed Express.co.uk that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, no doubt, plan to respond to recent allegations made against them that are damaging their reputation. Stay tuned, this video explains all. Please if you are new to my channel, take a moment to press the subscription button below and turn on the notification bell for the latest daily news. The unofficial biographer of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex said last week that the best-selling, Finding Freedom, would have a sequel. The biography, Finding Freedom, written by Omid Scobie and Carolyn Durand, was released in the year 2020. But Mr. Scobie's announcement of a sequel came after the publication of Revenge, Meghan, Harry, and the War Between the Windsors. Although Meghan and Harry haven't made any public statements regarding the book's contents, it contained a variety of charges about the Duchess's life. The Duchess will read the book, according to royal writer Tom Bauer, who urged her against taking legal action against him in the future. The book has received criticism for what some perceived as the selective selection of interviewees for the tales. However, Professor Pauline McLaren told Express.co.uk that there is no question that the accusations made in Bauer's book are already causing damage to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's reputation. It is no wonder that Meghan and Harry will be looking for an outlet, continued Professor McLaren, co-author of Royal Fever, to respond to the allegations. She told Express.co.uk, Despite his admission that he only spoke with people who were hostile toward them, there is no question that Bauer's book is currently doing harm to the Harry and Meghan brand. This means that many situations will be interpreted heavily against them, therefore it is understandable that Harry and Meghan will be seeking for a platform to argue their case, again. Scobie's book may be that platform. As Revenge reached the stores, Mr. Bauer came under fire because his story was called biased. According to the investigative journalist, the majority of the 80 persons he spoke with for his 80 interviews didn't like the Duchess. After that, host Ben Shepard questioned the biographer, saying, if we know they don't like her, why are they going to be delivering an objective account of their experience with her? I understand, but I sifted through, I don't just put in anything that isn't genuine and can't be confirmed," Mr. Bauer retorted. The publisher of Omid Scobie's latest book in the UK, HarperCollins, predicted that its exclusive revelations will have the world talking. The book will be a new chapter of the royal saga because of the deep access and unique perspective, according to the publisher. The book is scheduled for publication in 2023 and Mr. Scobie expressed his excitement to finally share the information. But according to Professor McLaren, the announcement is saber-rattling and is more likely to support the, he said, she said, storyline. She remarked, I believe Omid Scobie's announcement of a new sequel sounds like saber-rattling and the promise of more, he said, she said, to come. Although we don't know that Harry and Meghan will be directly approving Omid's future work, we can surmise that they may intend to play a covert role in supporting it. It is only to be expected that they will have some way of defending themselves against the numerous inferences of Tom Bauer's revenge.